they're trying to unbox this. Uh, and they're spawning. Here we are unboxing. Uh, something rather unfortunate, but something rather needed. As I discussed last time, I uh, my Pixel 3 standard died, and I was and I was in need of a replacement fast. We talked about. Uh, excuse me, as I just see my heart rate jump to 121. <laughs> jump up to 123. So I'm going to need to take my heart rate medicine in a little bit, but uh, I just need to record this bit real quick. But anyway. So, my phone died. It basically gave motherboard fried due to an update, I think. Either due to an update or just due to a motherboard design flaw in the Pixel 3 series. And, yeah, I am, uh, well, what I needed to do was go to Google Fi, my service provider, my phone service provider, then I, um, oh, sorry, my heart rate's high. But then I, heart rate high because I just took my medicine because I'm preparing to go to sleep, but I also want to get this rendered. But anyway, my service provider, and I uh, filed my warranty, tried. So e try again to respond by email. Google only wants only wants them to talk to you. They don't want you to talk to them. Only them, they you're not supposed to call, email, or chat to them. They call, email, chat to you, which is kind of stupid for a warranty service. But oh well, Google. Um, so Google uh took a sweet time getting back to me as it, it never did within like three days, and they have a twenty four seven service. So I don't know what happened with email. So then I decided, you know, I'm going to try their chat because I'm not going to wait for a call. It's going to be the same as email and chat. Well, should get a person quickly. And it did. I was the only one in line. It was 1 a.m. Uh, Thursday. They're only open for three days a week, Thursday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I was open on the first hour of the, fir uh, the first day of uh, the first day of the work week. And yeah, it went well. Uh, it, went, it was smooth. The... Uh, uh, it was smooth. The person on the other end was I uh, was kind. And overall, it was a great experience. I got my phone in like two days. And got a replacement Pixel in like two days. And yeah, it was actually a refurb. As you can see, it's a it's a the same everything. 64 gigabytes of storage. White Pixel 3 standard. Um, and yeah, they got back to me fast, and that's it. So now we're sending off the Pixel, my old Pixel 3. We put it back in every the box. You'll see this, you'll see a bit, some of that in this video. But we put it back in the box, and now it's sitting on the kitchen table, ready to be shipped back to its maker. Back to Google's. And I'm still, I'm still hurting I'm still hurting from that I'm recording this a few hours after a few hours after recording this video and yeah it just sucks it was my first phone and I really love that pixel 3 I still love the pixel 3 eh? and I'm I mean the pixel 3 standard and I glad I got one there's no phone quite like it with the squeeze and the scrolling down with the um, the with the oh, excuse me uh, with the it's going down with the um, Scrolling down with the fingerprints on the back because modern phones don't have those for some reason. Why not just have it? I don't get why I don't get why iPhones don't have it ever since the the death started. Like, wouldn't that just be better just to have Face ID and a fingerprint sensor in the back? Especially since you're removing the the wall the wall brick. Well, oh, the wall, the wall wart. Why wouldn't you, or travel charger as long, as it's officially known? Why don't you just you know let people use their fingers? I mean, the gloves are in the way, but then again, pull down with the mask. It's it's just weird. And there's I guess you can always put in your pen. Like some people do, but still, like I, it's so weird. Uh, I would prefer like someone do use just do all three 
fingerprint sensor on the front, fingerprint sensor on the back, face ID. Actual face ID like an iPhone, not what Samsung does. But anyway. But anyways, I'll also discuss in this video comparing, uh, or discuss in this video my plans for the future. I'll be making uh, there's talks about talking about the replacement for this phone because I can't rely on the Pixel anymore. It died just suddenly after two times freezing. This time it actually died. Uh, I I yeah, it died randomly. I couldn't I couldn't. Uh, ha I couldn't make quick pictures of things I want to make quick pictures of for either DVR purposes or sending to my sister. Uh, I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't access any of my accounts because I uh, two-factor authentication with texting, and all the two-factor identifiers are on my phone. So yeah, I need a phone fast so I can un f the situation. And I, and I am currently unfitting the situation. The situation is stable now. Uh, whenever I run into an account which I need to do the which I need to do the two-factor authentication for, I can just do that now. It's fine. With a local, it's fine. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, whenever you you have to read the your two-factor two authenticator, um. Even though it's tied to your other accounts, I'm not telling you which ones, I, which authenticators I have, but uh, yeah, it's so weird. It's so 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 weird. Um, but anyway, so I guess on to the video. Thanks for, uh, thanks for listening to this little intro bit. I just wanted to get some. I just wanted to clear things up, off of, I just clear things up. I would say later on in the video that aren't necessarily true. Uh, and then, uh, add on to what I say later on. Alright, so yeah, that's it for this bit. I guess, uh, see you next one. Oh, wait, hold it. Okay, we're back. Uh, as you can see, <clears throat> the new new phone sir, just, just wasn't eating it, by the way. That was a terrible time for them to come. But uh, we got we got a terrible time for FedEx to come, but we got it. One last scratch check. Oh, bro, well, at least I hit the uh, middle. Wait, come to me. Because we, we checked the front, but we didn't check the back. Uh, this is infuriating when you only when you need three hands but only have two. That either covers really well or I have no scratches in the back at all. Oh, no, that's a smudge. And this is really nice, but um, we're gonna find out what how nice the new one is. Now we gotta pack it up. Put now we gotta take the new one out of its box without making it flip over to the b bottom and flip over to the back of the into the no man's land into the no has land and yeah just a plain box it came in a bigger box for shipping uh, they said you can ship it to them in the box that the new phone came in I'm going to take that very very literally and uh, ship it in not only this box but uh, the box well let, let's just show you it's a nice box too. Um, obviously, if you were getting a refurbished phone new, this this would be what you get. You take it out like this. There you go. It's a thin, and then this is just as you can see, it's just the phone. We're gonna put a new phone in here. But yeah, just an empty box. I don't think it pops up. It might. Is there like a secret smaller compartment? No, just like that. So if you never ordered. Hey, Google, if you never ordered a refurbished phone from, uh, from Google, that's what it looks like. And again, the same thing. Really dense box. I wish I could keep this. I probably could. Uh, but we gotta be really sure.
Open this. Go down. And for sharpness, there we go. It's either hand or text. Remember, cut you towards yourself, but you always use the same hand that you're cutting with. And now, come on. I mean, we got time. We got 14 days from today to ship it, which we are going to be using UPS to ship. They use FedEx, by the way. Hello again. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. I'm going to keep this bit, though. I mean, actually, it's the Pixel phone warranty. Re bonjour. Really? That's that's what hello again is in French? Re bonjour? Oh, yeah. Bonjour again. Re bonjour. Okay, sure, whatever. Oh, it comes with a cleaning cloth. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's nice. And a SIM card. And a SIM, and a SIM, and a SIM tool. Wow, that's more than what the... Th a thousand something, thousand hundred, couple hundred something dollar uh, S22 Ultra comes with. Jeez. And this is just a refurbished phone. Got our, our pull tab. Can't wish anything higher than the claw. Yeah, some card. We don't need it. We're, where we're going? We're, where we're going? We just have um. Was upside? Yeah, it came to came to us upside down. So you can see your colors. So we're gonna put ours back upside down. There we go. One last look at the old phone. The new phone. The new phone looks pretty good. It doesn't look damaged. There doesn't look like it's scratched or anything, which is good. Um, like I, I, I was one because with fur, with, with, with furbish programs, you don't know what you're going to get. Usually, usually it might have some damage, some pre-existing damage, but maybe with phones it's different. I don't know, but, um, yeah, just say one last goodbye to my phone and yeah, I'm going to take the warranty card because it is ours. I would think, I mean, the box is ours too. You always ship it in a new box, but, uh, we're not going to. Microfiber towel because awesome. Actually, you know what? For the ultimate flex of putting stuff back where they belong when you're doing warranty programs. And you know, I don't know why this phone means a lot to me. Because consoles never have been that way for me. I were I've done many refurbished programs with consoles and they never and I never had this many feels before. Okay, heat marks. It was left out in the sun. Bonk. Some dust. I don't think that could be me. And it's just clean on the back. All right. Hold on. Pull the good old switcheroo. Um, put that in the box right now. Just to get out of the way. Don't know, bang it on anything, because I have a lot of things that can really mess with a, they can really mess with a phone if you're not careful. Okay. But yes, the new Galaxy 20, uh, S22 Ultra only comes with a charging cord. <laughs> so technically, this technically the, uh, the refurbished phone. This is actually my phone. The refurbished phone came with more because you can also, because it came with two items instead of just one, which is hilarious. Actually, make the other one maybe came with two items too. I I don't know. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't know if the uh, S22 Ultra comes with. Uh, refurbished. Uh, it comes with a new phone. I'm gonna turn it on in a sec. Comes with a um, thing or not, but into the box. Hmm. 
We were, we'll be, it's re this is, I guess, a reboxing now. Um, but yeah. It was uh, unboxed on this table and it will be reboxed back to recycling. Either to be recycled because it's that bad off or it's to be uh, refurbished. Like this guy. Did I mess them up? Or did I mix them up? There's one way to check because I know what this one looks like. Uh, no, this is the new one. No, it just needs a charge. Dag, do I have any micro USB cables thing off this thing? Wait. We're back. Got some 8-bit duo cables. That I just been hanging out underneath my uh Oh that's a problem. That's a slight problem. Okay, we don't need No we do need that for the light. Uh are any of these USB-C? At least one of these should be. Yeah, it's the single micro USB. Why? Why? Hang on, guy, we're organize these. Hold your excitement. Don't know which one's which, but we're gonna find out. Soon. There we go. Got the funny bit of stuff. You can hang out. Here. Oh, okay, good. Good, good. good. That's why I changed cabinet. I was like, I, I, I will be moving these bo boxes, which you can't see because you can't see them, and I should probably move them so they don't get damaged. But now we got emergency charging cables. Or to charge random things randomly. Okay. Still don't know which one's which. Oh, scratch, yes. There we go. Oh, yeah, this one works. This one works. You can barely see it. Ignore the buzzing. You don't see that in real life, of course. This. Where? Make a fabric cloth socks. Google. Yay, it does work. The new one works. Fantastic. Hello there. Oh, hi there. And, um, yeah. Yes, I'm going to do this real quick. Okay. Eastern Daylight Time. Oh, that was, last, that was the last time this phone was powered on, or its manufacturing date, September 25th, 19, uh, 2019. Uh, that's not, that's not it at all. Let me take a well. Touch screen's working. March, May 18th. 3p, 3.07 p.m., no, it's 3... 25 p.m. That feels really nice. Haptics are working. The vibration motor use location also. All of scanning. Uh, yeah.
You're not supposed to see this. Be right back. You did see that last bit, right? When we were messing with the phone, seeing if it works. It works fine, by the way, in case you didn't see that. But now, um, we're going to put it in its case and wrap things up. Hope you saw that last bit. If not, I'm going to just show it to you quickly once we have the case back on. But yeah, it's really nice using a, using a phone naked, or using a phone without a case, because uh, it, it's how it's meant to be held in your hand. But, uh, yeah, yeah let's clean this off real quick, because that's just in it. Don't want to scratch the phone by just laying it in here. This is a really bad microfiber tile, by the way. It's really, really sucks at its job. You know what's a good one? The one that's on my camera. Oh yeah, that's really nice, okay. We're touching it back really quick. I just need, I just wanted to see it clean again. Now the problem with all of the uh, the problem with all of the auto box cases is that uh, the new ones is new ones of hey, they've been like this for years. Is you can't get a screen. They're screenless editions, but you can't get a screen with them ever. I don't think I have to check their website, but I don't think so. Yeah, as you can see, it's really easy. You just go on. And I do need to take off the case every now and then to uh, stick, a, stick a USB drive into it. But yeah, other than that, I don't take the case off ever. Yes, I might need to get a new one. It's, it's, you know, as you can see, it's getting a little old. That's my first new one. Okay, let's see if it works still. Google. Uh, as you can see, I'm holding it. I'm putting my finger on the very bottom of that. There you go. Stick on my back bun. My light. For it. Oh, die. Get out of here. No. Shoot. There you go. I will be putting my Microsoft launcher back on it because it's fantastic. Because it's fantastic. Oh, nice thing about having a back fingerprint sensor is this. In case you didn't see my first, in case you didn't see my unboxing video, come on. Which I will link in the description of the first unboxing video. Might as well. Oh wait, it's not doing it anymore. Interesting. Yeah, you used to be able to pull down the the shade by rubbing your finger on the uh, back on the on. Oh, that's bad on the sensor. But yeah, I guess it doesn't do that anymore for some reason. Maybe. Why would you unupdate that? That's stupid. That's actually it was a selling point for me. Because you can just pull down the tab whenever you want off of the off of the perfectly placed back sensor. Interesting. I mean, we know it works, so yeah. Camera check. Only while using the app. Camera works just fine. Yep. Really, yeah, yeah, the bottom facing, bottom facing, uh, charge ports are hard. Yeah, as you can see, in your vision. Oh, it's going to stay permanently up. Okay, we got to fix that real quick. We need to unlock it in settings. I probably have to unlock it in settings. Auto rotates on. Oh, no, it's off. Now it's on. Flashlight. Look at this big app tray though. We have everything you need. 
Where are settings? Android Auto's on here. Okay, Actually, I'm just going to leave it like, yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that for right now. Alright, so that'll be definitely it for this video. Let me actually read this real quick. It's just the other stuff. It's a warrant. Oh, you get, oh, I guess you got to go to the pixel. I, that's the site you need to go to for the warranty. Where's your, where's your www dot? And where's your M? That's gonna, that's really, yeah, uh, man, they really, they really, they, they really didn't want to waste any guy on this thing, did they? Uh, but anyway. Alright, that bit for this video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you watching. Uh, this video means a lot to me, wants me, wants me. Check out the rest of the stuff in the description below, such as and the original unboxing video for our Pixel, uh, for our Pixel 3, which is now going back to Google to hopefully get to a new owner and be uh, and live a good life and good thing we got actually a pretty undamaged one as well i mean it, it, the, the the circles are in a really bad spot but you, you're not gonna notice them i don't think i'm you 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 you're not because you're using this phone though no, i'm not because i'm using this phone um but anyway as that doesn't have to turn over to hush no we gotta find out the Google settings. I mean, it might slightly annoy me, but I think the fingerprints are more in the way. Again, why, why ship a why ship a microfiber cloth if it doesn't work as a microfiber cloth? It's stupid. Um, but anyway, all right, that be it for sale. Thanks for watching. And I guess, again, it's really sad that I have to turn it, that I died like that, especially right now. Because uh, I don't know if you don't know this, but I kind of lost my sneak account last night. Because I turned it off for reasons, and now I can't turn it back on. Uh, my, not my Steam account, uh, but I need to log back into it, and I need two-factor two authentication. It has it, but uh, it's kind of uh, dead, so I can't use it. So, how, fortunately, I can do it through my number, I can do it through, well, I can do it through text, or I can do it through, um, no, to, or do through the authentication thing, which I do need to put it on my PDA, because that thing's probably going to be eternal, <laughs> uh, but still. Alright, but anyway, that'd be for real, thanks for watching, and I guess, see you in a second, oh, wait, hold it. Uh, but yeah, so I, uh, uh, I I need I need to get my phone back as soon as possible. And now we and now, uh, I mean, other news or in the news related to this, uh, we are we you can now delay switching to a new phone uh, because we got this one. Which by the way, how the how the process works is they is they look at your they look at your serial number and they. Uh, they look at your serial number and send you a phone exactly like yours. And by send, they run your credit card because just in case you don't send the phone back, uh, you're technically buying a refurbished phone at the full price of a normal phone. I don't understand that. But anyway, yeah, yeah. by the way, if you want to buy a refurbished Pixel 3, because you like what you see in this video, you can't, uh, well, you can, but it's full price. I don't know why. Refurbishment usually is half price or or a cup or a lot percent off, but uh, now with Pixel, not in Google Land, not in Google Land, probably not Apple Land either, I gotta say. But yeah, that's stupid. But anyway, at least official refurbishment. But anyway, all right. So I'll be looking for new phones. Uh, we're, we're currently looking at the uh, Apple, the Apple's, as my grandma, as my as grandma says, the Apple's phone. That's it. Just the Apple's phone. Uh, but no, the iPhone, the Apple iPhone 13 Pro Max, or the Samsung, the Samsung, as I say, uh, but the Sams, or as my grandma says, the Samsung, uh, but no, the, the Samsung S 
Galaxy, the Samsung S20, the, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, uh, in its lowest configuration, because it had, because it's just all the fun I could ever need and more, at least for next few years until it dies or whatever. Unless it's internal, like the PDA, which, which apparently semi Samsung's are really internal, because there are people using, uh, gold galaxies, like my, like my girlfriend, she has an S8. It's fine. It's really still fine, so... Yeah, uh... Semi-Sungs can last a long time uh, if you take care of them. Uh, and then there's, of course, the teardown... The, the, the phone teardown... Or the device teardown guy, because he doesn't just do phones, he does handheld consoles as well, like the Switch. Or hybrid consoles as well as like the Switch and handheld consoles and... and uh, like, like the, uh... Like the uh, Steam Deck and everything. Uh, and... He still has his Galaxy S, or he still has his S10 Note. He had to repair it a few times, but he still has one. Um, and as to my knowledge, my girlfriend has not needed to uh, repair hers. And her, and an S8 is just a bit older than my Pixel 3. So yeah, we want to be going back to a Pixel 3. We, we might just still, we might still buy it from the Google Store and still use Google Fi at this point. Because why not? Because the service was really good as long as you figure out to always use chat. <laughs> um, especially early, especially early uh, on and make sure you're, you're the only one waiting. But don't use email, don't use phone, use chat for crying out loud. Uh, I don't know why chat, but chat, Google uses chat. Uh, for the most part, but anyway. Um, uh, but, but, I was just thinking of that. My mom would enjoy this because she likes, well, she knew, well, she, she could speak fr uh, Spanish pretty okay, uh, and she could speak fr a little bit of French. So, yeah, um, yeah, just, just thinking of that, but, uh, anyway. Still works fine, but anyway, so yeah, that'd be a first scenario. Like seven percent on just this thing, two hours still full on just this thing. I don't know how much juice this thing puts out, but uh, that's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. I need another one of these. I might need a blue one, just put it somewhere else because it's, it's like this is a fun little uh, USB hub thing. <laughs> Apparently, it chews up the power too, uh, but anyway, switch up the power too, but anyway, all right, well. So yeah, those are the two phones I'm looking at. Uh, I'll link in the description the community post where I was watching a video which of a blank comparison between the two phone cameras and it was very thorough. And to me, uh, a little bit spoiled for that video. I I, I like everything night mode that the pics that the iPhone shot. Every night mode shot I liked for the I liked better the iPhone way. But everything else I liked better the uh, semi sung way. So yeah, it, it, it's up for it's up for you know it's still up for debate. So if you want to put your hat into the ring, like there's reasons why I don't want Apple. Period, because of the weird UI, having to memorize motion, which I've never been good at. I've always cheated and used tooltips, and having icons on the phone and having icons on UI is always what's helped me do uh, remember things. Um, or having a freaking controller with lots of buttons I can just push. Uh, which, I don't know why phones just don't have uh, loads of buttons just on the frame. But anyway, or on the back. Um, I guess design. Um, but anyway, so, yeah. Uh, and, and the reason why I would want... And the reason why I would want the semi song is for the stylus, for one. Because I missed the stylus because... You can't use your nails on modern displays, which is... Stupid. I don't know why. I don't know why they. I don't know why making sure that eight percent of the population, who are most likely to use phones as their main devices, can use them with uh, with nails is stupid. But anyway, um, so I, I I want a stylus like my LDS is, which, which even uh, unfortunately uh, Nintendo switched from uh, styluses to friggin' cut. This kind of display. Um, but anyway. So, yeah. Um. Yeah, that'll be it for this video, I guess. Thanks for watching. 
Uh, anything else? Yeah, uh, I also like the uh, 10 times zoom in daytime. It doesn't use that at night at all. Hopefully, it will change that in the future. But it might just not be worth it. I hope you can override it, actually. Um, so you can still use 10 times zoom because I will still use it on a rocket launch at night because you can see the rocket with your naked eyes, with your Mach 1 eyeballs at night, your one time zoom. So I'm pretty sure 10 times zoom can still see it. And I do use a macro at night and it still sees things. A macro prime zoom lens. Uh, a cheap one too. So it, it still works at night. So I don't know why Samsung feels the need to override it for you. But anyway. And of course, uh, iPhone takes better videos just in general. And I always have, which would be useful for videos on the go. I usually just take pictures because Pixel sucks at it. Uh, and limited space at 64 gigs on the Pixel sucks. Uh, I, I've only I, I've been I've been managing to get away with less than that, but uh, it would be nice to have more storage. But I'm not likely to get a phone with tons of storage, more than 120, more than what my PDA has, because no expansion slots. I rely on expansion slots, and yeah, paying up front for a ton of storage is just something I don't do. Although maybe get November time or next year when the new phones are out maybe I can get one with one terabyte of storage it would be hilarious and that would last me forever because I have no idea what I would put 10 terabytes on it would fit all the games that I ever would want to play which I don't play games on mobile anyway including emulation games which could run up to modern day probably not, maybe not modern day but could definitely run up to uh, Wii, uh, Wii games uh, Wii games and maybe PS2. No, no, Wii, Wii's harder to turn than PS2 for some stupid reason. Um, or is it? Oh, regardless, PS2, Wii, that, that generation. Um, but yeah. Um, anything else? Hopefully you could run Xbox. It might, might, it might. I, actually, I know modern phones can run Wii U, I think. Wii U and 3DS, I think. I think that's what they can also run. Um, but anyway, uh, anything else? Uh, yeah, so I can just have tons of games on it. Um, pictures, just endless pictures, which would be fantastic. Just gotta remember to back them up. But anyway. Alright, that, I think that's it. I think that's it for the video now. Thanks for watching. You really do appreciate watching this video. Please let me know if you want to check out the rest of the stuff in the description below, such as Radio's Radio Sports Channel, which works to the best way sports channel by watching these videos. Get your content with producers by sharing friends with Lister. Actually, this might be a separate video now because of the uh, whole. We've been recording for more than 17 minutes. I thought this was going to be a quick video, but I guess not. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. I do got tons of stuff to unbox. I guess I'm going to start swimming soon, but I got all that to unbox. All that but the midway set, which is behind there. But I have the expansions to the mid to the midway, to the, uh, Blood Red Skies midway, uh, set. Uh, and I, well, I, well, I want to unbox, but I have them all out, is I want to unbox the two seaplanes together, because they're both bonus items. But anyway, also have that, my pile of shame. Uh, to unbox, but other than that, yeah. Hey, yeah, this was fortunate because we are short on cash right now, and yeah, uh, that, that was fortunate that we can wait to get, get a phone and we don't have to switch plans or anything. Because I do really like Google Find, just all of its ways. Because it is a VPN, it is a like, it, like it, look at Google Find, it's really nice. Not non non sponsored, of course, but you know, it's really nice. But anyway. All right, that'd be a thrill. Thanks for watching. And I guess uh, there probably be uh, there's talks about talking about the new phones and what I think of them. Um, and yeah, um, once we get more to, uh, more to decision time, I'll probably stop by at Best Buy and start looking at phones, uh, just filling them in my hand, seeing which ones I like, seeing if they're too big, <laughs> the Max and the Ultra. But yeah, all right, that was fail. Thanks for watching. And so you can expect. Oh, and also check out my DeviantArt page. That has a link to the description too. The DeviantArt covering the the covering the pixels. So the pixels on DeviantArt uh, is that is that art. But uh, I'll show you if you want to see the remainder of the pixel three photos on the art and any new photos taking with this pixel or any photos taking with the new, new phones when I get them. You can check it out on my DeviantArt, which is in the description below as well. All right, that be it for real. Thanks for watching. And I guess. See you.
Instagram.